hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, white blood cells also known as uh, uh, WBC count you know uh, before starting I would like to request you to subscribe this channel uh, for more videos every day you know a white blood cell uh, count is a test uh, which uh, measures the number of white blood cells in your body you know and uh, the white blood cells uh, help to fight the infections by attacking the bacteria viruses and the germs that invade the body you know and uh, the test uh, the count of the WBC uh, the white blood cells uh, is often include, uh, included with the complete blood count you know? and the term white blood cell count uh, is also used uh, more generally uh, to refer to the number of white blood cells in your body you know? and uh, there are several types of the white blood cells and uh, the blood usually contains a percentage of each type and uh, sometimes your white blood cell count can fall or rise uh, out of healthy range you know of the normal range you know and uh, the white blood cells also called leukocytes and uh, are an important uh, part of the immune system and these cells uh, help to fight the infections by attacking bacteria by attacking viruses that and other germs that invade the body you know. and the white blood cells uh, originate in the bone marrow uh, but circulate through the bloodstream you know and there are five uh, major types of uh, uh, white blood cells they are neutrophils they are lymphocytes they are uh, 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 isonophils and uh, monocytes and basophils you know. so these are the different five different types of white blood cells now having a higher or the lower number of white blood cells than the normal uh, may be an indication for an underlying condition you know and uh, uh, white blood count can affect like uh, uh, the general health you know and uh, uh, the white blood cell count can detect the hidden infections uh, within your body and alert the doctors to uh, diagnose the medical conditions such as uh, autoimmune disorders you know or uh, uh, immune deficiencies and blood disorders you know and uh, the test also helps uh, to monitor the effectiveness of uh, the chemotherapy and radiation therapy in the people who are suffering and going through the process of these uh, cancer treatments you know now the average uh, normal range is between uh, 3500 to 10500 white blood cells uh, mcl which means that uh, per micro liter of blood you know and the uh, infants are uh, often born with much higher number of uh, white blood cells which gradually uh, decrease you know and uh, uh, the normal ranges uh, are say uh, immediately after the birth uh, the white blood cell count number is uh, uh, 9000 to 30000 and uh, in one to in first week you know it comes down to uh, 9400 uh, in fact it uh, increases in fact you know uh, initially nine uh, nine thousand four hundred to thirty four thousand you know and from in that second week in the two weeks you know it comes down to five thousand to twenty one thousand and uh, in a month's time it's 5,000 to uh, 20,000 20, and uh, then uh, in five months 5,000 to 1,500 and uh, in six months gradually increases and uh, it finally settles at uh, between somewhere 3,500 to 9,000 you know which is the normal range you know uh, and that's in the children from the age of 12 to 15 years and then in adult the normal age is from 3,500 to 10,500 
and uh, the normal ranges can vary from lab to lab you know another uh, common measure uh, measurement for the volume of the blood uh, in the cubic millimeter or the mm uh, you know and uh, a microliter and a cubic uh, millimeter are the same amount so the types of the cells that make up the white blood cells usually fall uh, within a normal percentage of your overall white blood count you know? and the normal percentage of the types of the white blood cells uh, in overall count are uh, usually say the neutrophils are from 45 to 75 percent you know normal range in case of lymphocyte it's between 20 to 40 percent uh, eosinophils uh, less than 7 percent uh, monocytes uh, from 1 to 10 percent and uh, basophils are less than 3 percent so these are the normal ranges for the uh, the different types of the white blood cells you know and uh, the higher or the lower numbers of the white blood cell can be a sign of any underlying condition and uh, having higher or lower percentage of a certain type of uh, white blood uh, cell can also be a sign of underlying uh, condition you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasedentimeter.com and the next uh, will be what are the signs and the symptoms of the abnormal white blood cell count. Just keep watching. Goodbye.